Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with Jay Reacts. Today we're going to watch episode 5 of Fallout. What's going on? Yeah, what the? You ripped that thing inside out and its guts went flying everywhere? I thought it was dead meat. Oh, you're special. Wait. You should brand me. <laughs> oh I'm no. Officially your squire until you brand you me. Get the head in the background, that's funny. I want you to, please. Alright, Thaddeus. Oh no. It is your most sacred duty to protect the Brotherhood, after which it is your most sacred duty to protect Knight Titus. Do you accept? Oh yeah. Okay, old suit. Oh no. So hot. It's gonna be hot for a while, dude. Oh, man. Mm. There's that. Hey, look. Uh, there's probably something I, I, I should tell you. I'm officially your squire now. You can tell me anything. Oh, yeah. Goals, insecurities. The fact that you're not Titus, he's not gonna tell him. Oh, he is. Hmm. Maximus. We can still be friends. First night, Titus. Oh, he's he's dead. You and I, we we just have to get our story straight. They're gonna kill you. Come on, they, I mean, they don't have to find out. It's the Brotherhood. They'll find out. That is. You better watch yourself. I'm sorry. Nice. Get off me. Oh. Oh. Thaddeus! No, don't! Don't leave me in here! Took out his power core. I can't believe you let you fucking brand me. The stick your head's mine now! No! Get back here! Please! Please! Please, no! Don't leave me in here! Isn't that a wild dog right there? Where is it? Oh, uh, uh, CX-404. Duh. I'll kill you! I swear I'll kill you! Thaddeus is gonna get in a situation where he's really gonna wish that Maximus was there. Why didn't you just tell him he was attacked by a Yao Gao or whatever that thing is and it killed him? Yeah, if they find an opening, it's gross. Oh no, no, not from there! How do you get out of that? Oh! Lucy? What's up, girl? Wait, so she's tracking the head. It wouldn't have taken her here, though. How does she know how to do that? That was you. Right? That was me. Why can't you move? Can you please let me out? Believe me, I really want to trust you, but... Girl, you saved your ass. I've had a rough week. Me too. I remember that uh, man I left with, with the glasses and the whole, whole body? Yes. Hey, I'm looking for his head. Hey, you have radiation sickness. I, I got right away, left in the sleeve of my armor. You can have it if you let me out. I really want to believe you, but practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. And if you lose consciousness, we're both going to die. He sounds so nerdy and geeky and loserish without that voice box. What's your name? I'm Night Titus. Oh, God. I'm Lucy. Oh. The T60, right? I've seen these in old engineering manuals, but never in real life. Oh, though, there she goes. This one's starting out a little more serious. How did the Raiders get a hold of my mom's pit boy? I want to check one more thing. Can't we just go home? Come on. We really want to go back to the woman giving birth in your place? Man, look at all that stuff. This would be a cool. Like haunted house, like Fallout style. It looks like they were trying to get into 31. We're leaving. Yeah, I don't know if I'd want to find out. Apparently they don't either. Or they did, now they're running their ass. Go. Uh -oh. Norman? Chester? Where have you two been? We've been planting Plant tate potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> well, run along now. He's like, Tato's my ass.
I had no idea people lived in those vaults. Just regular folk like me. Vault 32. Good luck. Wait, you guys have more of those T-60s? Oh well, yeah, they do. Yeah? And guns? Yep. I have a tracker that'll lead right to that head. What are you suggesting? We use my tracker to catch up your squire, get the head. In exchange for my help, then you'll lend me the services of five or six of your knights to save my father. All right, Maximus. You lied your way all the way here. What are you going to do now? At least she has a gun. You could have been lying about the medicine, and you weren't. You just lie about his name. I get that trust doesn't come easily up here. And I'm from a place where the worst someone can do to you is forget to say thank you. Sounds like a nice way to live. It is. It'd be so easy to explain how Titus died unless he, I mean, he didn't have to say he didn't give him a stem pack. I mean, bled out. We gotta find Thaddeus. Like her, her name is first. I'm sorry, Reg. I just feel that in times of crisis, you need someone with experience. Damn, I straight up told him <laughs> I'm not voting on you. <laughs> we vote in private booths for a reason. He's not gonna shut up, is he? And Betty's already been overseer once. I'm gonna vote for Betty. I got that impression. Well, she's been overseer. Obviously, she didn't do something right. Gotta vote for yourself. Would you vote for yourself? Oh, who am I kidding? This rate, we were caught up by sundown. Especially pulling that big ass rucksack thing. Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? I know about the Great War and the bombs falling and the 320 years of American history before then. I just need help with the last 200 years after the bombs fell. The bombs fell when I was a kid. Is that what they tell you in your brotherhood? Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. I come from a place where the world is what you make of it. We're naive down there. No, they're naive up there, too. I was six, I really thought that the big light in our farm was the sun. I swear, I could feel the sun baking my skin. Oh, she's cute. I can use the word cute. I'm comfortable enough with who I am. I realized it was just her that made it all feel so real. With a 98% Jeez. Betty Pearson has been elected vault overseer. I'm so honored. So she's part of this corruption and this cover up or something. That's why she told him to tread lightly. I told you that cake. Thank you. Don't do it. Don't say it. technology when you say it like that i mean yeah it's <laughs> it's weird who's this show us her face are they Run! real no are you armed no we're just gonna walk on by that okay with you it's fine give me your gun no okay. i trust lucy with that thing man she's got some skills they said they're not armed they're lying you're lying What's happening over there? Yeah, we're just being careful. You can come on through. Are you trying to fuck us? I think we're all feeling some tension. Yeah? Ah, uh, so why don't we all take a deep breath? Nothing ever good happens when someone says that. How about what you guys are you talking about? walk on this side and we walk on this side? We're gonna do this. Yeah. Yeah. Her finger, I forgot about that. That's funny. One, two, three. I gotta say, um, if I could be honest, the pacing of this episode is significantly different than anything we've seen so far. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't trust that. They just look like raiders. Oop. Yeah. Nice 
shot. God, Bob, I said, Why? You fiends. My. I mean, they went for them first, right? We gotta do this whole Greedo Han Solo thing. I gotta go back and see who got shot. Who shot first? Just a scratch. What's a fiend? People who eat people. I hate it up here. The definition has changed. It's gonna change in the next 200 years or 200 plus. My math isn't good. Don't get mad at me. You ran a great campaign. What you gotta do when you put a few posters up and let democracy run its course. You know, I ran once. Lost to none other than Hank McLean. You know what they say? When things look glum, vote for somebody from Vault 31. Oh, that's what that means. So everyone transferred in from 31. Uh, that's what that meant. I wasn't sure what that meant. I voted for Betty. Huh. And he couldn't get into Vault 31. There we go. You don't think it's weird that we always elect an overseer from Vault 31? They did the same exact thing in Vault 32. So if it's not at all worrisome, why are we whispering? Because we just snuck into a vault filled with dead bodies, not to mention Steph's from Vault 31. Steph, I actually was just heading out. Does Steph know something? Steph? Oh, mm -hmm. guess we're about to find out. How's Vault 31 out. different from here? What did your dad tell you? What's your dad tell you? Not much, actually. That's, that's why I'm asking. Hold up. Let me pause yeah, this real quick. So in the first episode with uh, Moldaver, what did McLean say to her? I know why you're here. And then she said something like, yeah, but do they know that they're beneficiaries of a mistake or something? Okay, did they get their memories wiped? Uh, I'm going to hit continue. Don't yell at me. I'm sorry. Maybe the mashed potatoes were a little better? That is what my dad She doesn't know. Say. Interesting. Must be true then. It must be true. Yeah, what happened to the crops in 32? They need to find another gun. They actually should have looted that couple. This isn't real, right? You never heard of the New California Republic? What about Reclamation Day? The, the entire oh, purpose he has of a my gun. vault was to come up to the surface one day and and restart civilization. It, it's it's Reclamation Day. It's what keeps us all going. And they were lying to you, girl. It already ha happened without us. That's gotta be tough to handle. If it makes you feel any better, it didn't work out. Yeah, look around. Jeez, look at that crater. I don't know that much about nuclear bombs or atom bombs, but none of that stuff should be there if it's that close to the crater, right? It's the same thing that always happens. Everyone wants to save the world. They just, they disagree on how. Uh, I wonder if anyone survived. I did. We should keep moving. Titus, this is more than just a graze. Yeah, it went we have to get into his arm, not past his arm. Somewhere. Definitely more than a graze. How did Thaddeus make it so far? Wait. There's no way that building's abandoned. There could be anything in there. Yeah. Alright, ghouls. Like a first aid kit. Lucy! Gonna go in there, dude. Get you a stim pack. Some purified water. Uh -uh. Lucy. Medical supplies. Uh -oh. What the hell?
Thank you for coming, everyone. A wheelchair. It is important to me, for us all, as a family, so that we can heal together and rebuild together. What is happening here? Some of us will stay home to rebuild 33. Others will be moving into Vault 32 in the coming weeks. It's interesting, though, because if they knew Vault 32 was corrupted, why did they open up the, the door and let them in? The sun and the flowers. So we, we probably have some major corruption going on in the vault system then, too. It's probably obvious. My yesterday was blue, dear. What? Where's she going with her? Today I'm a part of you, dear. My lonely night. Oh, I'm so slow. Somebody was in there and they cleaned all that shit up. How good we have it here. Aid one another. Who the hell cleaned that shit up? And we will carry on until the day we bring that light huh. to the surface. And the difference. Find anything interesting? Great job cleaning up. The Raiders destroyed so much. But not our spirits. Dang, he just told her he knew. Betty, when my mother died, what happened to her pit boy? It was buried with her. Uh. Are they tied down? No. Ugh. Girl, wake him up. I would have been like, get up, get up, wait up, wake up. Where are we? It's okay. We'll be all right. Girl, how you know that shit? You don't know that. Y'all could be experiments waiting to happen. You're in the best place in the world. They're in a vault. So there's a vault underneath that vault tech building? Isn't that a little weird, Lucy? Okay, I have so many questions. That was a... I felt like a slower episode. Uh, it's only... Is, is it shorter than the rest of them, which is really weird? You know, how do they end up in a vault if they walked into a vault tech medical facility? Unless the vault's underneath the medical facility, because... Clearly fell down in that hole or that, that trap door. Although he could have been transported, knocked out. Maybe that gas knocked him out. Him as in uh, Maximus. There's got to be a point in the show where he tells Lucy who he really is. Or she finds out when they come across uh, Thaddeus. Speaking of Thaddeus, how the hell did he make it so far with that giant bag in that head? I don't know. What would you do if you're Thaddeus? I would at least ask for an explanation before. And if it's just me and somebody else and there's a chance they're going to kill me, I would not play my hand. If I was trying to get away or rat on them, I'd be like, sure, man, whatever you say. Yeah, let's let's do this. Let's go. And then maybe when they're asleep, sneak out. What the hell is going on with the vaults? I mean, I know we're going to find out. I know this is episode five. I think there's eight episodes, right? So there's three more episodes. But what the hell is going on with the vaults? And it kind of makes sense because when she was in Philly, the lady at the, I don't know, I'm going to call it, the, at the shop, she was, she didn't have a lot of positive things to say about vault dwellers. Obviously, the ghoul... Mr. Cooper, he, he has a big issue with vault Tech. Something's going on there. And so I think what's going to happen in the next few episodes is just going to be this big, huge, oh my God, reveal. And then it's going to leave us hanging. Galaxy News. vault Tech presents. Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard, star of stage and screen. But I'm not here today to talk to you about my latest picture. No, today I'm here to show you a vast and wonderful place. Whoa. There, that's He's involved four. 96 JQ 1164. And what a beaut she is. And what a song she sings. Strong enough to keep out the rads. Didn't sound three foot thick. Now this corridor here is Sycamore Street, where you'll wave howdy to any one of your 200 neighbors. Now this isn't just your average all-American family. And we'll be living and working right here in Vault 4, leading a community governed entirely by scientists. Wait a second, did you say living down here? 80 volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault 4. America will be ready. Well, I may play a hero in the movies, but you all are heroes in real life. All right. And now you can be a hero too by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. That's why the guy said he took my money, paid for the vault, and the. Fellas, are you happy? Hmm. 
All right, Gary, I'm wrapped, right? Yes. Yeah, it's really lovely to meet you. Thanks for coming out. Thank so Bud Askins, I oversee the Southern California operations. Came over to Vault Tech in Q3 after a 10 year stint at West Tech. You designed the T45 power armor. Your first of its kind. You know, I, I oversaw the, the rollout. I wore the T45 when we almost lost the great state of Alaska to the Oh. Rains. Those design flaws of yours cost a lot of good men and women their lives. I'm more focused on HR, R&D now. And most people think scale means increasing global market share. Because what is the ultimate weapon to destroy your competition? Hmm. Time is the ultimate weapon. Uh -huh. The future of all humanity comes down to one word, management. Huh. Every time he sees her, she just, like, takes his breath away. Uh, nothing against these colleagues of yours, but what do you say, you and me? Knock back a couple of pina coladas by the pool. There is a rap party. A what? For this. Yes. All right. We go for a couple of hours. It's at our house. <laughs> we have parties here all the time. I just come right upstairs to this studio and focus on other stuff. I can go downstairs and hang out with people, but if I disappear, I'm up here. Roosevelt, I'm sorry you can't come, buddy. I love that one, too. It was my real dog. It's funny, when looking at the ratings of this show, they listed smoking as one of the things. You know, like nudity, violence, language, smoking. Mr. Howard. What's up, bud? Bud Askins. Right. I only do it for close friends and beautiful women. I, Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever ready to serve. <laughs> Perhaps when you finish your shift, we could head up and party in the hot tub. What do you think of that? Oh, no, no. No? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. She's like hard pass. You might be the only one of my invites who actually showed up. <laughs> I think our uh, Hollywood actor friends, they want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. You hear I lost a movie over these ads? Bonnie Lewis said it was on moral grounds. Bonnie Lewis? Damn. She's done more ads than a fucking billboard. I'm telling you, radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood. They've even got your friend, Charlie Whiteknife. Are you kidding me, Charlie? Is it like buying, uh, buying real estate on the... I can't think of the name, but you guys know what I'm talking about. A world run by people who wear pocket protectors to a pool party. Huh. Yeah, you might be right about that. I mean, I've dipped my bits in the same gravy train. Sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot they sell to housewives and perverts. I thought the studio owned that character. They did, and then Robco bought the studio. Good old Robco. Gotta watch out for them. The future, my friend, is product. Uh. The end of the world is a product. I'd say the future is golden. To the future. Oh, who's there? Ptolemy Cogsworth, I'm ever ready to serve. What do we have here? Let's get to it, shall we? Are we? Destroying a legitimate business? That's illegal around these parts. Says so, of the government. Oof. I'm like, who are these cowboys? These sheriffs. Oh, it's got to be Maximus. No teeth for ammunition. We'll need a... I know you mentioned you're eager to keep moving, but your friend is going to have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged on your shoulder. You're not fine. Exactly. We can't thank you enough for letting us in and taking care of us. Oh, and we found his armor. I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is... Man, Lucy is way too trusting. Actually, she is still naive. I born on the surface. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. I need you to stay in quarantine a few hours longer to make sure you don't track in any contamination. Thank you so much. Maximus is, uh, I like how he's, he's super suspicious of everything. <sighs> you smell good. You want to have sex? You mean use my cock? <laughs> I don't know. I, that <laughs> weird thing could happen. What weird thing? For some guys, you know, when they make it move, it gets all big and hard like a big pimple, and then it pops. What? Oh. You know that's it pops. Uh, that's actually <laughs> it happens all the time, every time, ideally. I'm a knight, um, a knight of the Brotherhood. We're not supposed to. Maybe he's gay. Oh. 
Told you, she's way too trusting. We shouldn't be wasting time down here. You heard the doctor. Those corn pops? We made a deal to find that head together. You're no good to me, Dad. Oh, uh, what, what are they called in Fallout? I would feel bad. I think these people are trying to trap us here. Mm. No, they're not. This is a cult. It's not a cult. Everyone's smiling. Titus, <laughs> this is a safe place. If everyone's smiling, is it a cult? So, give this place a shot. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Hey, Benjamin. Hey, guys. Just wanted to say hi. Hello. I see you. Obviously, welcome to Vault 4. Just some housekeeping, a few things to be aware of. Stay out of level 12. Obviously, we'd prefer you not go there. Uh, oh, and if you're unfamiliar with how the bathrooms work, just ask. Any questions or concerns beyond foosball or pencils or bathrooms, birdies available. And once again, welcome. Oh, that's just, that's awkward. Weird. Different. Huh? That was weird, right? That's what I'm saying. What people are nice. <laughs> Ty, I'm, I'm talking about it. doesn't get any better than this. Nope. Let me just pause this real quick. So he's walking, and I couldn't tell who he was walking with, but I thought there was probably four or five of those sheriffs, or whatever they are, police officers, um, in there with him. But it looked like there was only two or three people walking. And then he had a bandolier on him. So if he was a prisoner, wouldn't they have taken all that stuff off? All right, we'll obviously find out in a second. You ever... Think about working somewhere else. I used to, but with you doing these ads, it's it's practically the family business. I think about it. Quitting showbiz, buying us a ranch up in Bakersfield. She ain't trying to hear that. A real cowboy. Must have money. It's gotten into you. <laughs> and Jen Martini. I've been reading too much news lately. Got me second guessing the whole city life. Yeah, she's not trying to hear it. It's too bad. Oh, come on. You, you've seen these around. Not on you, I haven't. Well, tech exists with or without me. Working with these assholes. I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Huh. Means they're not all created equal. Just trust me. Yeah. I guess if you thought the threat was real, You'd be more serious about it, but I would imagine everybody at this point thinks it's just a big scam. They're taking their money. As all nations race to secure uranium and control the future of energy, a shortage has emerged, turning even allies into potential competitors. Will energy and will it lead to an expanded war? <sighs> Sorry you couldn't make it to the party the other night, Charlie. Guess you had one of your meetings, huh? One of your communist meetings? Come on, man. Voltec's the fucking devil, man. My wife works here. Do you know what fiduciary responsibility means? So the U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race to vault -Tec. <laughs> And vault is a private corporation that has the fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. And um, how does it make money? By selling vaults. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But they can't sell vaults if these peace negotiations go through. So uh, vault has the fiduciary responsibility. Are they going to sabotage it? That it don't work out. Sounds very something 19. You remember that movie we did with Johnny Morton? Morton played a rancher who owned half of Missouri. And what happens when the cattle ranchers have more power than the sheriff? The whole town burns down. The whole town right. burns down. Right. Voltec is a trillion dollar company that owns half of everything. And after 10 years of war, the U.S. government is broker than a joke. The cattle ranchers are in charge, Coop. Come on, man. You sound like you're a cult. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. Maybe you're the one in the cult. You should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. For her sake. That's a homie right there, though. He said, you got to learn the truth. So obviously there's something deeper. I would go. Would you go? I would go. Hello? Hey, Henry from the Vault Tech Assistant Training Program. Is this Mr. Cooper Howard? Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry, Henry, but my wife prefers not to take work calls in the evenings. Oh, no, no, no. I'll just be okay. All right. Bye-bye. Do you have a, a new assistant? What? It's going to be hard on her. That's all. What is? You know, no dogs in the vaults. 
No dogs. In the vault, says who? That's the policy. Uh, that's not really the question, is it? All I'm asking is, who decided that there were no dogs in the vault? Given the prerequisite conditions of us living in a nuclear fallout shelter. Well, you know, I'm not sure that it is. I don't disagree. Who, who, who makes the rule? That is a new rule. Somebody decided that and didn't share it with fucking anyone. I didn't go to war defending that freedom so that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel of Chairman Butt Ass. Every day I go into work and I think about how humanity can survive a nuclear event that will wipe out 90% of life on Earth. And I come home and you're talking to me about hiding out at a ranch up in Bakersfield. But when the bombs drop, a two hour drive ain't gonna cut it. None of it. The thought is it's imminent. But if billions of people are going to lose their lives, I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Janie, aren't among them. I have worked hard. I don't disagree with her. To make sure we go so far. into a special vault. You don't get it. That is the best we can possibly hope for. He doesn't want to feel privileged. I'm sorry. I know you always try to do the right thing. I love this show. It goes back and forth between silliness turn the little hand. and kind of deep. I'm, I'm actually from a vault. You're what? You don't meet a natural born vault dweller every day. You're from here? Five generations. I'm proud of it. I wonder if he's a genetic experiment. I wonder if they're making people. Ooh. I grabbed a moldy one. <clears throat> what do you mean by what? that? Well, they come in here with their smelly food and their weird ideas. And if you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. You don't take in surface dwellers in your vault? Well, to be honest, no, we don't. What is that like? I saw what was left of Shady Sands, and some of these people lost everything. So we took our share of the men and gave them a home because it's our share of them. But it's like you can't make a funny joke about it without offending these guys. What was the joke? Oh, I forget. All I know is it was a huge bomb. <laughs> There's a joke. Pretty good, right? Any other questions? What's on level 12, and why can't we go there? I you should go now. I only wanted to. Goodbye, Goosey. Skedaddle. Skedaddle. I thought I was the only one on the planet that used that word. She's going to get them in trouble asking all these questions. Uh. Where do you guys get your power from? Seems like there'd be a new light idea. They probably sell it on Bethesda.com right now or Bethesda.net. Anything to make a buck. It's coming from a guy with a freaking giant pit boy coffee mug that is unusable because it's a giant pit boy coffee mug. I see you found our fusion core. It's not creepy. Some people who come here have a hard time adjusting to finally feeling safe. Trust doesn't come easily to those of us with a guilty conscience. Here. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Have a hot shower. Thank you, ma'am. And when you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? <laughs> supposed to wear it. That's gotta be a hot Etsy item, man. More so than ever. Got a welcome basket. <laughs> Welcome to your new room. Some yum yum doubled eggs and sugar bombs, blanco mac and cheese. The place is well furnished but terrible at the same time. Give me the simple life. A house that rings with joy and laughter. He's like biting the water. Yeah. I wonder how long it's been, right? Like, how long has it been since they've had a warm shower? I bet you they even have warm showers in boot camp, or wherever that was. Caviar is definitely an acquired taste. What the heck? Excuse me? Did he on loop? What is this? Is he gonna be a teacher here, too? Got some abacuses. 
Abacus, how do you say abacus in plural? Abacai? Abacuses? Why the ominous music? The NCR. Is that those sheriffs? New California Republic. That's right. Love the music. Oh, uh, excuse me. What's going on? It's a surface dweller tradition. It can get a little rambunctious for my taste. You're welcome to come. Sure. So he's only got two guys. I swear there were like four or five guys. The government. Well, shit. A Sorrel Booker. Ah! I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that super duper mark. Nobody told me it was the ghoul. Mm. Mm. This son of a bitch right here used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. Say, so you got a needle in thread. We don't do a lot of knitting around here. It's called sewing. I think I got some in my bag. All right, ghoul, what are you up to? Uh you mind? Come on now, Sorrel, we old friends, ain't we? I don't know what keeps you going. Everyone keeps asking him that. Yeah. Maybe, looking for her. His daughter? She a ghoul too? I sure as hell ain't still alive so that I can have unintelligent conversations with dipshits like yourself. And dude is That's so the dead. president of the government you're talking to. You a president now. Well, then you might want to hire a publicist. Cause this is the first I'm hearing about this outfit. Now, what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman name of Moldavia. They call her the Flame Mother. Now, that bitch is dangerous. But that super duper mart you gutted was under our protection. Now, you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. Just like that. So I can tell you about this town I just shot up. Philly. Oh, I must have killed nine or ten people. My daddy lives in Philly. Daddy well, lived in Philly? No, he don't. Don't take the bait, son. In my experience, the apple tends not to fall too far from the tree. Take him out back and feed him to the hogs. It's almost like he knew it. He's like, okay, if I don't want this son of a bitch to kill me, he better kill these two losers. I'll just give me some more. I got one question for you, old buddy. Hi. Do you have this picture on your wall? That's Moldaver. Why? That's not how I remember her at all. Yeah. Interesting. So this is going to be interesting because he's obviously, he's super old. It's 200 years. Moldaver is just a normal middle to, I don't know, she, I guess she's more than middle-aged. Carol, you better keep your pit boy on. That's from Vault 33. I know. What are they doing? They learning karate? Wax on, wax off. Is he the stranger? He's dressed like the stranger. The one that, you know, you have that luck that shows up in the games every once in a while and saves your ass. She's like, uh, no. Is it orgy time? Thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll see if I stay. Do they find actors for that, or do they just find people who live in a nudist colony? Flame mother, 
we remember. Bring back the past as we remember. Remember. So they're like the movie version of the Children of the Atom. Sorry, it's a game reference. Yeah. Bring back Shady Sands, blood must spill. I think there's somebody you should be. Yeah, who's that? Yeah, hell no. Who's blood? Old survivors? Mr. Howard? Oh shit, Moldaver. I'm a big fan. So he ends up in alimony. Does he have an affair with her? Wow. Titus. Oh, I thought that was the end of the episode. That would have been a perfect end of the episode. You were right about this place. No. You were right. These are called oysters? You want one? You want to make my cock explode now? <laughs> Sorry? Intercourse? No, we need to leave. Right now. These people are insane. Yeah, they're like you. A little weird, but nice. Plus my arm. You know, I really, I ought to give it a little more time. I get why you'd want to stay. I know this must all seem really nice compared to the, the shoot show that's up there. The I shoot would show. If you wanted to go back on our deal and, and just be somewhere that is good and safe. But this isn't it. They gave me a robe. These people are hiding something from us. I'm going to prove it to you, okay? Why don't you just tell them what you saw? Why is it so hard to explain the simple things in these shows? No, I didn't kill Titus. He got killed by a mutated bear, and I just took his armor. I let him die. I just saw a bunch of people drinking blood and worshipping Moldaver. And rubbing ashes on their forehead that belongs to dead people. Pretty weird. She went to 12. Loki, I thought they were going to be waiting for her when the door opened. And you did too, be honest. What do you think of up here? Maybe a freezer of dead people, a locker full of dead people that they drain the blood from. Authorized lab personnel. It's never a good sign. No. Uh -oh. Yeah. What? What the? Oh, what the? Ugh. So she birthed those things and then they ate her? All right, what's this? Subject appears to be pregnant. Oh, background. Someone's behind you. You're all right. When I saw the door was open, I worried one of you might have gotten out. Uh-oh. He's thinking one of those abominations got out. You go, Lucy McLean, for all your training. You're crazy! You people are crazy! Your entire culture is insane! I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. <laughs> this fool is brainwashed like a mug. Oh, that's it? What the hell? Okay, there was definitely a lot. There's definitely a lot to unpack with that episode. Episodes 5 and 6 kind of took a turn from the first few super silly uh, episodes. They were silly, but they were really good and serious and silly. That doesn't make any sense, I'm sure. Uh, like I said before, five was a little different. And then this one was more serious, like less silly other than, I mean, you can't really count a guy with a with an eye in the middle of his forehead. I still think he's a, he's a product of some sort of experimentation. And then, of course, the reference of the Children of the Atom. For some of you, you probably already know this. For some of you, you have no idea. But a lot of times in the game, there's like this little cult and they worship the Atom. It's a tragedy, really. I'm curious what's going on in their vault. Because there's a lot of weird stuff going on in that vault. Wow, Moldaver. So they're worshiping Moldaver. So she did something. I wonder if she went into like a, maybe a, a cryo chamber. Maybe like the chamber they're in. Or maybe she's a super mutant. Or super something. Obviously not super mutant. Maybe 
according to the storyline of the TV show she is, but for her to look the way she looks after 200 years, she just looks like she aged up a little bit, but not a lot, maybe by 10 years. So really excited to find out what the hell of that is all about. So she's been anti vault the whole time. And so whose side are you on? I get it. No one wants to feel like they're under control, but I guess if the country was really in that much danger, it seems like it would have been easy if you had the money to fork up the money for a vault spot and then stay in the vaults. I don't know. There's a lot There's a lot that's kind of confusing and needs to come full circle for me with regard to the vaults. Maybe if you go down to the vaults, maybe you sleep for a long time, but there's a lot of stuff going on there because of shady sands or shady acres or whatever happening after the bonds fell. Oh, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. <laughs> I love your comments. I love having conversations with you. Can't wait for episodes seven and eight. And I will see you guys over there. Also, if you're still listening and watching this, I don't know if I need to watch. Because what's out there? You have a Twisted Metal, which is a game adaption to TV. A Halo. I saw parts of the first season, maybe partial episodes, but I know there's a second season. And obviously The Last of Us. I never played that game. I almost bought a PlayStation just for that. Maybe I should watch that. So... Let me know, and I'll take it under advisement. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next Get Real with J Reacts.